So what I want to do first off, when I begin this sort of class, I want to get a little bit of a general sense of the level of the class. So if the big topic of this class is e-commerce with WordPress, let me just first ask, how many of you know what WordPress is? Raise your hand. Okay, uh, seems like a seems like a um, majority of people you, you know what WordPress is. Okay, so if you don't know what WordPress is, it's basically WordPress is software to build a website. That's the simplest thing to say about that. It's software that you use to make a website. So seems like the majority of people know that. That's good. Okay, how many of you currently have any kind of website? Raise your hand. So a little bit less than half. Okay, if you have a website at the moment, how many of you have a website that is made with WordPress? And approximately like that. Okay, so we have a little bit around half and half or so that people have a website to work with, and those that have a website have WordPress. So that'll that'll be useful. This is the challenge with teaching this because some people have a website to work with and some people don't. And then the short amount of time that we have here, we, we cannot cover everything. But what I'm going to mention is, um, if you don't have a website, you can set one up at a variety of providers. And I'll mention a few right here. And if you have any uh, thoughts as well, feel free to raise your hand, comment on anything, ask questions, of course. Uh, but there are several of these well-known ones, like GoDaddy, Bluehost, Host Monster. Anyone know any other providers out there that exist? SiteGround. What's that one? SiteGround. SiteGround. OK, good. Anything else? Amazon Web Services, but it's Yeah, that's kind of that's, really that's a little advanced <laughs> there. Uh, Amazon Web Services, sure. That's another one. Uh, let me just save this. Why does this keep complaining? Um, so there's a variety of there's a variety of types of places where you can store your where you can set up your website. There's these various service providers, and prices range really, really uh, big range, like from fifty to one hundred and fifty dollars per year. And they can it can be cheaper, it can be more expensive. You can get hosting. You might even hear hosting. There's hosting for you know ten dollars a month. Well, maybe it's valuable. Maybe it works. Sometimes with the cheaper providers, you get less service or you get slower speeds, or sometimes you get ads and such on your website. So that's a bigger discussion that if we had a lot of time to, to, to really talk about these things in detail, I could go into more detail. But the big idea is if you don't have a website and you're thinking of building one, these are some places where you can get that set up. Um, does that make sense? Any questions on that? Again, if we had a lot of time, we can get into detail. But any general questions on that, this concept? Yeah. To practice it at home, you can. I think Windows has like a web server built in. You can probably install the free WordPress suite um, and just load things locally. That that's that's what I would normally do in the regular class, but that's a really advanced thing. No. So I don't think for most of us we want to get that far into the nuts and bolts of things. But that's a possibility. Yes. So uh, any other questions, comments on yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Now, the only issue is, uh, do you have currently a service provider? No, I don't. This is what I'm saying about the challenge of teaching this, in okay. that I'm not going to be able to tell people, OK, go to GoDaddy and buy it now, because it's not free. I can talk about it in, in, in theory and kind of show some steps and all of that. But to kind of do some of this stuff hands on is a little challenging in only two days. So we'll see how much we can do uh, of where we're at here. But definitely, I'll be showing you how, if you've got a WordPress site, here's kind of how to, how to use it and how to set up a, an e-commerce solution and such. But to do, to do some of the actual steps, you may or may not be able to do it. If, if you don't have a provider, you know, I, I don't know how far you'll be able to go. But we'll see how, we, how far we go. Yes? 
Well, again, uh, you have to be in touch with them. Usually they offer tech support on the phone. Someone can walk you through the various steps. Uh, so it's, do you know which one you might have? There's a domain in the hosting. Oftentimes they're at the same place just to have it all set up in one location and a lot easier to manage. So in your particular case, yeah, you need to talk with whoever set it up and see how they set it up. And once you kind of have access to it, you'll be able to do some of the things we're talking about. And this is why I'm recording all of this, because maybe you won't be able to do much today. But as you go home and in two days kind of figure out what you have or purchase a plan or something, you'll be able to go back to the videos and and follow them that way as well, and then we'll continue on Thursday. So, um, Sorry, I, so I have right here at the top here, I'm going to be recording my lectures, and if you'd like access to the lectures, you can send me an email, and then I'll send you, uh, send you these lectures. It's basically everything I'm doing on the screen right here. You can replay it at any time you'd like. So again, some of this is a little technical, and uh, basically, uh, your website needs a domain and hosting. So if you're thinking about setting this up for the first time, these are the things you need to consider. I need to buy a domain and I need to buy the hosting. And basically, you rent a website. Yes, you'll be able to get your own, you know, uh, usually I use the example of victorsbakery.com. Um, I do that in like all my classes and I talk about examples, victor.com, and people ask me now, do you really have a bakery? You talk about it all the time. No, it's just an example, victorsbakery.com. So victorsbakery.com would be the domain name, victorsbakery.com, and then the hosting where you upload your products, photos, etc. The text, the products. Um, it has to be somewhere. It's like on a computer, you have the hard drive where you store everything. Well, hosting is basically the hard drive where your files of your website are being stored. But then to get to your website, the address, the domain name, the address, the URL, you know, all of those names, is the, that's the domain name. And as, a, as I'm sitting here in this huge price range, which can be actually lower or higher, uh, with whatever provider you have at the moment, you're paying some amount to have those features. And if you're thinking of setting yourself up for the first time, you have to uh, get both of those items. So we're going to use WordPress, and we have two flavors. WordPress.com, WordPress.org. Let's check these out, actually. Let's go visit the website, open up your web browser, all the popular ones are down at the bottom. Let's go to the website, wordpress.com. We'll start with wordpress.com first. So almost every website that we might hear about ends in .com. Does anyone know what that stands for, what that means, .com? Commercial. Commercial. So there's different kinds of websites, in theory and .com are commercial websites. Victorsbakery.com, it's a commercial website. Um, those extensions, those three-letter extension, have kind of been supplanted. It was originally commercial. If you had a website that was about commerce, you had a .com. But now, you know, I can have victorcampos.com. I'm not selling anything, but it's my website, and that's fine. I can get a website with a .com. So you can have uh, any sort of a dot extension. And I'll actually mention over here new ones. I'll get back to that in a moment. But let's check out the, the website for a moment, wordpress.com. So in your web browser, you can go to wordpress.com. This, this is the manual. This is where you go to learn everything in detail about WordPress. As I said, this class is often two months long instead of two days long. And we have a chance in the long version to talk about the basics of WordPress and then intermediate concepts and then advanced concepts. But in this two day long class, we have to go with intermediate concepts and see how far we get with that. But basically here, 
this is where you would go to read the manual to check what are the features and learn a lot about what WordPress is. Question? When is your two months it hasn't been, uh, they haven't contracted me for that yet. Uh, it's still early before they decide all of the classes for the next semester. So to my knowledge, not in the summer, but in the fall. And that's a little far that they haven't quite uh, figured that out yet. So be on the lookout for the catalog, the fall catalog. And, and at that point is when uh, the, uh, the two-month-long class should appear. So at WordPress.com, you can also uh, buy various versions of WordPress. Now, when, this is when I mentioned earlier about having these providers. WordPress.com is also a, um, a provider where you can set up your, your website. But notice these prices. Uh, okay, $3 per month build regularly. Five dollars, and what what you get out of them, you can go, you can go look here, compare what's exactly in them. Um, the higher ones are the ones that give you the more power to actually do the the the, the business things of like e-commerce. The the three dollar a month one, uh, that one's just for like blogging, for writing articles, and and you know, um, doing an online sort of journal sort of thing at these higher levels that's when you have the ability to actually uh, do e-commerce so that's a that's a possibility you can build a fan base open a store etc get started for free etc okay well this this is one website that I would say for our notes right here the manual to learn how WordPress works and a provider if you want to set up your site there let's contrast that with wordpress.org let's go over to the website wordpress.org Let's get WordPress.org. Uh, do you know what org stands for in websites? Organization. So this is an organization where it's the much more technical side of, of WordPress, where you can go get support and read documentation and such, where you can keep up to date with what's new in WordPress where you can go to various WordPress seminars and such so there's one in Europe coming up June 20th so people often come to these classes and, and ask well I heard there's wordpress.com and .org what's the difference we're seeing the differences here one is the commercial one one is where you would actually build the website where you would pay uh, to get the features of it and such wordpress.org is more about uh, learning how it works getting help and such so uh, getting help checking themes and I'll talk about what that means a little later themes and plugins etc you can also go there and buy a nice WordPress t-shirt uh, to help support the the project or to show off that you really like WordPress so those two sites if you're going to be serious about making your own website because most of these classes that most of the people that come to my classes they want to learn to do this stuff I want to make a website which we'll get to of course or I want to learn how to do social media in my social media class or how to program and such people want to do something so beyond a class uh, I give out various resources such as the official websites here where you can learn this on your own after you take the class and you want to continue to learn we didn't get to a certain topic it'll be here in great detail at wordpress.org or you're having trouble you need help at wordpress.org there's the there's the support system to ask the question and, and get some free help
And then I'll mention briefly also, for example, GoDaddy.com. It's one of the many providers out there. Here's where I would go and say, okay, I want a, I want a website. I want VictorsBakery.com. And it'll tell you prices and availability and all of that. Oh, it is available, VictorsBakery.com. It's $11.99 for the first year. Then regular price, $17.99. Well, that sounds really, really affordable. I thought the instructor said this would cost $50. Well, that's the domain name. But I said also you need a domain name and then the hosting. So if I added this to my cart right now, it would also say to me, don't forget to buy your hosting. And somewhere over here, it'll tell me the hosting price uh, right up here, hosting. So there's a bunch of options. I'll just go with a basic one for the moment. So what are some prices? So here we go. Economy, $6 a month. Um, what, what do I get with that? You can read the document. You can read the details there on your own compared to the $20 a month, which is better. Well, you want to read that on your own. I can talk with you one-on-one -on -one, um, during breaks and such. Um, I, I, I can't quite go into all of the detail, what's the best one. But all of these providers usually have a, a toll-free 24-hour phone number to call them and ask them, here's the kind of website I need to build what should I get now yes of course cynically I'll say well they wanna get you into the most of uh, the most expensive plan sure but that's when you do a little bit of price comparison you go to another provider and maybe even mention oh I got this deal from this other company can you do it better you know when you talk to a real person instead of just clicking add to cart I often find that you get a better deal than just clicking buttons on on their site so comparing the other one here uh, Bluehost So they're saying they're the best web hosting. Get started, two ninety-five a month. That seems really affordable. Most likely, a lot of these are deals for the first year or so. And you get a one-click WordPress install. That sounds nice, etc. So, all of these that I mentioned here, except for the ones that I, I didn't know about, all of these over here, I've worked with them. As I said, I teach this stuff. But I've also been involved with clients that, that needed a website or social media and such. So I've dealt with these myself, hands-on, these that I've highlighted. And they're all comparable. Their prices uh, range a lot, and they have uh, comparable features and such. And they're all good, and they're all going to provide what you need. But really, the best is whatever one is uh, affordable to you or has the best tech support or has the features that you need. So you can check out these other ones on your own. Site ground. Okay, that's a good point here, and I'm going to come back to that one in a moment. Um, something you probably need nowadays is SSL, which is basically security. It stands for something, but it's security. Security for your website. You visit a website, and you often have that little lock in the corner. Let's see, can I see it up here? See up there, that little green lock. Um, that means that this website is secure. When you put your credit card information or when you log in and such, it's secure. That is not free, uh, usually, when you buy your service at a provider. It is an add-on, and I am seeing, however, more and more, because they're all in competition, they're saying, you get a free year of SSL. But then after that, it goes back to the regular price, which that's usually around 70 to $90 a year, on top of what you're already paying for those other fees that I said. So you probably need this nowadays because you are dealing with uh, important transactions with people's private information and credit cards and all of that. And these web browsers nowadays uh, and Google are sort of telling you, uh, you know, they're warning you, have you visited any website recently? And the browser pops up and warns you, this site isn't secure. So that's going to be more common where if your site isn't secure even though your site you know I believe you that your site is a good site you're not gonna steal anyone's credit card information but because there's so much insecurity online it might be a liability if your website doesn't have an SSL certificate SSL certificate security for your website improved SEO for your website 
Does anyone know what what SEO means? Search engine optimization. Getting better results from online searches. Now, uh, that's that's when people search on Google or Yahoo or Bing or AOL search or whatever. When people search online, you your website may not appear if you haven't optimized it. That's a whole class that I teach. That's a whole month long class that I teach on the art and the science and the magic of SEO optimization, search engine optimization. And one of the things to mention at the moment is SSL, especially for a commercial website, is one factor that helps you rank a little better on the search engines. Uh, so if you have security on your website but your competitors doesn't, that might be a way that you get ahead of your competition um, via search results. So something to consider. Oh, and this one I was going to mention up here. Um, all the dot coms have been taken. I kind of lucked out that I looked up right now victorsbakery.com and it was available, which I'm surprised. A lot of other website names have been taken because the web websites have been around 30 years. The internet has been around since the 60s, websites for about 30 years. So if I'm just starting up a business relatively recently and I'm trying to set up a website, the name of my business might be taken. Um, I have seen like on Facebook, there is a Victor's Bakery, but they're uh, over in the Philippines, so there's no competition with me. Uh, but if you're trying to set up your website and your name is taken, you have these alternative ones. Have you seen any websites that something like, you know, victor.co or victor.biz? What else do they have? Victor.us? There's all of these extensions out there nowadays that you can also purchase if the .com is taken. Let's see, were there any examples over here? He was mentioning here, you might want Victor's bakeries.com, victorsbake.com, victorsbakery.info, victorsbakery.rocks, dot shop, cafe, TV, etc. So there's a bunch of new of these extensions, dot XYZ. Maybe the dot com was taken, but I can buy the dot XYZ for 99 cents. So that's interesting. And just a note to say there, uh, all the dot coms have been taken, so uh, you may instead buy an alternative domain extension. Okay, so if the idea that I'm trying to get across is in order to make a website, a WordPress website, you need some infrastructure set up, which is not free. To do the class, I'm going to demonstrate on a WordPress site that I have. This is just a basic, generic WordPress website where I have this dashboard and such. And again, if it was a two month long class, I can go into all the details about this. But I'm going to focus on the big ideas of WordPress and the e commerce aspect of things in a sort of demonstrative sort of way. If you have a WordPress site at the moment, you might want to log into your dashboard and you can actually see this. If you don't have a WordPress website, again, in the short amount of time that we have, we can't quite work with that. But we're going to take our first break, actually, just to kind of uh, assess where we're at, uh, make sure that we've uh, filled out the registration stuff. And uh, we'll be back in 10 minutes so that I can kind of get more hands-on and actually what WordPress is and what it can do for you. It's about 6.45-ish. We'll take a break until 6.55, and then we'll be back.